Now we know that electrons can flow inside a metal and that the flow rate is called electric current. However, you may ask yourself why this movement occurs. The invisible force that pushes the electrons from one battery pole into the other is called voltage. The higher the voltage, the more electrons will flow from one end of the battery to the other. This definition is simplistic and describes what the voltage does. However, it does not tell us how it is defined. The voltage is defined as the difference in electric potential between two points. This concept might seem confusing at first. However, after this lecture, you will understand this definition and the concept of the voltage more thoroughly. So, let's break it down. First, what is an electric potential? The electric potential is the work needed to move a charged particle of one coulomb from infinity to a certain distance from another charged particle. Let's use the water analogy again to make this concept easier to grasp. Imagine a water tank placed at a certain height. The height at which the water tank is placed corresponds to its potential energy. The higher the altitude of the tank, the more potential energy the water has. You might remember that the potential energy in this context is given by the formula E is equal to m times g times h, where m is the mass, g is the acceleration due to gravity, and h is the height. For electric potential, the formula is U is equal to minus Q over 4 pi epsilon 0 times 1 over R, where Q is the charge, epsilon 0 is the vacuum permittivity, and R is the distance from the charge. The electric potential is given in volts. The higher the charge, the higher the electric potential. The smaller the distance to the charge, the higher the electric potential. Along the same radius r, the electric potential remains constant. Now let's return to the water analogy. Imagine we have two pools at different altitudes connected by a water pipe. Pool 1 is at a higher altitude and thus a higher potential energy level than pool 2. However, Knowing the altitude of the water level in pool 1 alone doesn't tell us how fast the water will flow from pool 1 to pool 2. To determine the flow rate, we also need to know the altitude of pool 2. If the water level of pool 2 is at the same altitude, no water will flow from pool 1 to pool 2. However, if there is an altitude difference of several hundreds of meters, water will flow fast. So. To figure out the flow rate of the water, it doesn't matter at which altitude either of the two pools is, but only what the altitude difference between them is. The same is true in an electric circuit. The electric potential of one point won't tell us how much current will flow. In fact, if we only have one point, no current will flow at all. In order for electric current to occur, we have to connect a second point with a different electric potential to the first point through a conductor. The magnitude of the electric current solely depends on the difference in electric potential and not on the electric potential per se. This difference in electric potential is the voltage, which is always a relative measurement. If we say we have a triple A battery with a voltage of 1.5 volts, we mean that the electric potential difference between the plus and minus pole is equivalent to 1.5 volts. For an electric circuit to function, we provide this pushing force or this difference in electric potential through a power supply. A battery creates this electric potential difference between its poles by converting chemical energy into electrical energy. The battery attains a state in which the minus pole acquires electron excess while the plus pole lacks electrons. This imbalance pushes the electrons from the minus pole to the plus pole if connected through a conductor. If they are not connected, nothing happens as electrons can travel through air. We can also create this pushing force by using a lab bench power supply connected to the power grid. So, the electric potential resembles the altitude of the water level in a pipeline system. If we only have one unconnected pool, no water will flow. If we then connect pool 1 to another, water will flow. 
How fast it will flow depends only on the difference in altitude of the water levels. In an electric circuit, the electric potential alone won't tell us how much current will flow. If we have one pole with a potential energy not connected to anything, no current will flow at all. Only the difference in electric potential causes electrons to move from one potential to another if connected through a conductor. We can create this electric potential difference or push force through a battery, a lab bench power supply or any other voltage source. The full course is available on Udemy.